Hello, my name's Michelle Robinson and I am an author. That means I make up stories and I write them down. And if I do my very best job of it, sometimes those stories get turned into books. Like this one, that's my name on the front there, Michelle Robinson. And this book is called The World Made a Rainbow. And we're here today as part of the Chelsea Literary Festival at the National Army Museum to have some fun making rainbows of our own and to have a story and to think about why we all made rainbows over this last year and a half uh, during a very funny time during lockdown and with a virus going on why we all decided to make colourful happy rainbows to feel positive about all the things we've got to be thankful for and to enjoy and life's like that it's not always all brilliant but there are always happy positive things for us to think about and to enjoy so yes i am going to share the story with you and then you guys are going to make some rainbows of your own and while you're making your rainbows i'm gonna have a go at making one too and then when we're done i'll show you my rainbow and Maybe I'll read you the story one last time. I hope that sounds okay. So here we go. This is The World Made a Rainbow. And it's all about this little girl here, although it could be about any of us really, and the time we had to stay home to keep ourselves and everybody else safe. Um, of course, we didn't all stay home. Some of the key workers, teachers, doctors, nurses, lorry drivers, bus drivers, the bin men, shop workers, lots and lots of people had to carry on going to work to keep the world ticking over and the rest of us had to do our bit to help, which was staying home like this little girl. The thing about staying home is even though we knew we were doing a good thing, it doesn't always feel good, does it, to have to do these things, to miss our friends and to miss the things we normally enjoy. So this is how the story starts. It's a little town that with a, a rainbow over the top. I wonder whether you can see is a little girl there sitting at home. There's her next door neighbour. Look, there's a little old lady there. I think it might be her granny, actually. I think she might live next door to her granny. Granny's got a dog. Look, the people next door, they're staying home too. They're having a cuddle. The story goes like this. All of the world had to stay home today. I wish that it didn't. I wanted to play. I missed everybody. My grandma, my friends. My mum said, you'll see them once everything mends. Let's paint a big rainbow to put on display. When people pass by it and see it, they'll say, all rainstorms must end. And this rainstorm will too. And they'll feel a bit happier, all thanks to you. And it's true, if you made a rainbow and put it in your window, everybody who saw it will have felt a little bit happier, so well done you. They're going to get to work on their rainbow. We dig out the paint pots. I love making art. Got lots of red, so I make a good start. She looks happy at the minute, doesn't she? She's busy. She's got something fun to do. That was really helpful when we were stuck at home and it got a bit boring every day. But red makes me think of the chairs in my class. Her classroom has red chairs. I wonder what colour the chairs are there where you are today. But mum gives me a cuddle. This rainstorm will pass. I can't reach the orange, oh dear. But mum has to work. Look, she's on her phone and on her computer. And dad's with my brother who's going berserk. I wonder if you have anyone else at home who lives with you who was difficult sometimes during lockdown. It's hard, isn't it? Well, the, our families are the people we love the most, but we can also really get on one another's nerves sometimes, especially when we're together all the time. Never mind, she's going to keep on working on her rainbow. She says, I'll start on the yellow. It's bright like the sun. I splodge it around with the red. It's good fun. What happens when we mix red and yellow? Look, I've made my own orange. But, oh, she's looking sad again, I can't make green. I'd need blue to make that, and the blue pot's wiped clean. I start to feel lonely, I start to feel sad. 
then, how about odd bits of cardboard, says Dad. They haven't got blue paint, they can use some blue, blue bits of paper and card. He cuts and I stick and my brother helps too. We have to mix flour and water for glue. They couldn't go to the shops, remember when we couldn't go to the shops, they've made their own glue. It looks really good, she's using her imagination here, look. Like the ocean, says Mum, and all the adventures we've still got to come. That's it. So much of our lives still ahead to have fun with. All the places that she's missing, look, that she'll get to go to again. The seaside, the city, the forest, and the park. Those are some of my favourite places. The light couldn't shine if it never knew dark. She's feeling a little bit lonely, isn't she? I think she feels lonely there, but she's got her family with her and people who love her. Rainbows can't colour the world without rain. So we get back to work on my rainbow again. And it's true that life's like that there. There are always rain clouds, but there's always colour and fun at the same time. You just have to look for it. Hmm, what's the next colour? Hmm, we've just done blue. It's indigo. I've never been quite sure what indigo's like. Dad loves indigo like your very first bike. And they dig out a memory box I've never seen, packed with mementos from places we've been. I shout, indigo, as I spot mum's old jeans. Well, I can't cut them out, so we use magazines. Then dad takes a snapshot for gran and I say, memories are good, let's make more every day. My rainbow looks great. Look, there's red, orange, yellow, green, blue and indigo. There's just violet to go. One more colour, violet. This colour's violet here. It's a lovely bright purpley colour. Oh, but also violet is a name, isn't it? Violet is the loveliest person I know. Look, the girl's all sad again. Violet's my best friend. I miss her so much. Mum fetches her laptop. Let's put you in touch. And would you believe Violet feels just like me? They're talking over a video too, like us. And she's making a rainbow for people to see. How about that? We walk to see hers. Look, Violet lives down the street. And she walks to see mine. We wave to each other and really it's fine, not perfect, but neither's my rainbow. It's a bit wonky, isn't it? Doesn't matter. So what? I'm perfectly happy with all that I've got. Violet, my parents, my brother, my friends. And we'll still have each other when this rainstorm ends and they're all back together again. It's nice being able to do things together again, isn't it? And I'm glad you're all there together today. So what are you going to make your rainbow with? What's your rainbow going to end up looking like? I can't wait to see them. All of your rainbows will be different to one another's and that's part of the fun. And when I make my rainbow, because I'm going to make mine while you do yours, I'm going to think about what those colours make me look forward to doing and all the things I'm thankful and happy for. So yes, get started on those rainbows. I'll see you again in a minute. Bye. So are you all done? How did your rainbow turn out? Are you pleased with it? I hope you managed to share it and maybe put it in a window. Maybe you can all put them together there in the museum and have a lovely colourful display to keep people smiling and keep us all looking forward to all the exciting adventures we've still got to come. So I promised to show you my rainbow, here it is. So the red 
is the red of my children's school uniform. So I'm happy that they are back at school and with their friends. Uh, the orange, that's my shopping bag. And it's because I'm glad to be back in town, being able to visit all the shops again. The yellow is some sand. I haven't been to the seaside all throughout the last year and a half. And I cannot wait to see the sea again. The green, that's the green of the grass. I'm lucky where I live. There are lots and lots of fields just down the road where I can go and walk. And nature and the woods and the fields is my favourite thing, is my favourite place to be. It always makes me feel happy, no matter how I'm feeling when I go there. The blue, now that is my very own front door. And that's because not only has my home been my lovely place to be during lockdown, even when we've got annoyed with one another, but it's a lovely place to come and it's where I always feel safe. And my indigo is the next one. That's the night sky. And someone once told me that wherever we are, if we are missing people like we did during lockdown and like we might do again at times in the future, not necessarily about lockdown, but just because life sometimes keeps us apart, well, it's nice to know that wherever we are, we're all underneath that same sky. So we can look up at the stars and know that we're all in the same place, really, even if we feel far apart. And Violet, that's my little star at the bottom. And if you can see a little girl in there with her mum, that's the real life Violet. Because during lockdown, one of our good friends was Violet, who lives just a few doors down with her mum. And we really would go and see one another, show each other our rainbows and wave at one another. And it did make us feel better. So that was that. I'm going to read the story one last time, just in case you'd like to hear it again. But well done for making your rainbows. All of the world had to stay home today. I wished that it didn't. I wanted to play. I missed everybody. My grandma, my friends. My mum said, we'll see them once everything mends. Let's paint a big rainbow to put on display. When people pass by it and see it, they'll say, all rainstorms must end and this rainstorm will too. And they'll feel a bit happier, all thanks to you. So we dig out the paint pots. I love making art. We've got lots of red, so I make a good start. But red makes me think of the chairs in my class. Mum gives me a cuddle. This rainstorm will pass. I can't reach the orange. Mum has to work and Dad's with my brother who's going berserk. I'll start on the yellow. It's bright like the sun. I splodge it around with the red. It's good fun. I've made my own orange, but I can't make green. I'd need blue for that and the blue pot's wiped clean. I start to feel lonely. I start to feel sad. But then, how about odd bits of cardboard, says Dad. He cuts and I stick and my brother helps too. We have to mix flour and water for glue. It looks really good. Like the ocean, says Mum, and all the adventures we've still got to come. The seaside, the city, the forest, the park. The light couldn't shine if it never knew dark. And rainbows can't colour the world without rain. So we get back to work on my rainbow again. I've never been quite sure what indigo's like. Dad laughs, indigo, like your very first bike. And they dig out a memory box I've never seen, packed with mementos from places we've been. I shout, indigo, as I spot mum's old jeans. Well, I can't cut them out. So we use magazines. Then dad takes a snapshot for gran and I say, memories are good. Let's make more every day. My rainbow looks great and so do yours. There's just Violet to go. Whee! But Violet, she's the loveliest person I know. Violet's my best friend. I miss her so much. Mum fetches her laptop. Let's put you in touch. And would you believe Violet feels just like me and she's painting a rainbow for people to see. We walk to see hers and she walks to see mine. We wave to each other and really it's fine. Hello. It's not perfect, but neither's my rainbow. Mine isn't. So what? I'm perfectly happy with all that I've got.
Violet, my parents, my brother, my friends. And we'll still have each other when this rainstorm ends. So there you go. That was the story. I hope you've had a brilliant time today. Thank you to everyone there for having me and for helping you with your rainbows. Have a brilliant day. Bye.